I'm not going to go across to Kirit Parekh, former member of the Planning Commission and someone who's been uh, pushing for reforms in the sector. sector. Mr. Parekh, uh, many thanks for joining us on Bloomberg. My first question to you is specifically about this cylinder. Um, on increasing the number of subsidized cylinder, and that's been increased. How do you see these developments, you know, in the, in the larger context of reforms? I think this is completely absurd. Uh, there is really no need to increase it uh, to 12 cylinders. In fact, if you look at the data, then hardly anyone consumes more than in 10 to 11 cylinders. So even uh, nine cylinder, I think, was too high. Uh, is a limit. Six cylinder was the right ceiling limit because that would incentivize people to use gas e effectively and economically and, uh, and efficiently. Six would have been in adequate for most people and those who need more than six could have easily paid the full price of LPG. So uh, I just do not see any logic whatsoever of raising it to 12 cylinders. And I cannot even understand it because the number of people who will be buying more than nine cylinders are so small so that even the electoral benefit that one could imagine one would get would be quite small. Unless you say that those who are really buying more than nine cylinders to divert it to other users like dhabas or restaurants or, or using it as a, for their car or so on, sure. uh, they would benefit. But my... Uh, uh, guess is that they are, these are a very small number of people. If Mr. Parikh, if data is suggesting otherwise, and if data is suggesting that more than 12 cylinders, around 12 cylinders is, uh, is not required for a household, would you reckon that this is as good as being fully subsidized? Yeah, this is exactly what's coming out, that they are now, uh, you know, putting at a control on this. I, I can imagine if they raise it by 12 to 12 rupees, or rather 12 cylinders, and say, okay, we are not going to have any rationing, but then we will increase the price of LPG cylinders by 100 or 200 rupees. That would make sense. But not raising price of LPG and merely raising the subsidy limit makes no sense to me. Uh, assuming this happens, Mr. Parekh, what, what kind of uh, subsidy burden uh, will be, or rather what will be the incremental increase because of this move? Oh, uh, this is hard to say because, you know, I, I think in my opinion, even nine cylinders were quite adequate for most people. So that uh, really the amount of subsidized cylinders that will go by raising it to 12 would be small. So I cannot really say. I think it will be a very small amount.